Good day to you everyone, my name is Whistler and welcome to a new series. What series? Well this is going to be the Hardcore Armorless Challenge, which is what I'm going to be doing from now on. Now it's not going to be taking the place of the other Hardcore world, it's just going to be something in addition that I can upload to this channel. And I could put something in this seed, but for once I quite like the idea of doing a random seed, so let's just leave that blank. And yeah, let's create the new world. And the new world begins. Uh, I'm in a forest. Right, okay, that, that's good. Speed run the trees! Punch that thing down. <laughs> Let's get that done quickly. So, this series is just going to be like normal hardcore, but it's going to be completely 100% armless. I can't put anything in those slots other than an elytra, I think. Can I put a pumpkin in there? I don't know if that counts as armor or not. But for now, completely armorless. No helmet, no chest plate, no leggings, and no boots. Which means that this is going to end up with me being rather fragile. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, I don't anticipate that I would survive for that long in this game mode. Because I usually like to know that I can tank like the damage from mobs like skeletons and zombies. And creepers will just straight up instantly murder me. So yeah. So how long I last is going to be a little bit up in the air at the moment. But that's just going to be something I have to deal with. Maybe I'll last a while, maybe I won't. I do have some experience with hardcore, but not armorless, so this should be interesting. Oh, there's some sheep. Let's make myself a bed. That's going to be an easy first bed in the world. I usually run around for like five minutes trying to find these things. <laughs> Good, some wool. So, I don't actually know how long I'm going to last in this world, but if you would like to leave an estimate in the comments down below, then be sure, just, just put it down. Be like, Whistler won't make five minutes, and then you'll look like a fool when you realise how long this video is. Or perhaps I'll look like the fool when this video is only four minutes long, who knows? Oh, oh, I have wolves here. <laughs> Murdering the sheep for me. <laughs> oh, look at the baby wolf. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I need bones to tame you, don't I? Right, so I guess it's time that I smash this grass down. I've realised that my hunger's going down. So let's uh, let's start up a nice little wheat farm, I think. Let's make the hoe. Nice wooden one. And I guess we should look for water. I don't really know where water is. I think I saw some somewhere nearby here. Um, like, somewhere noticeable. Ah, oh, here it was. It's a nice little pond that was hidden away a little bit, I guess. I guess it wasn't too noticeable, but I'd seen it in the corner of my eye. I should probably do this with a stone shovel as well. So let's mine that cobble and turn that into a nice stone shovel. There we go. Upgrading in the world already. And while I'm at it, I should probably make the pickaxe in the axe, shouldn't I? Yeah, there we go. And now I can clear the area a little bit more here and I can get my wheat farm started. Sweet. And there we go. This should be a nice little wheat farm for the world. Ooh, a river. Um, okay. And there's a cave there. I should probably check that out. And some sugar cane. I'm very happy about that. That's very close to where I just set up my wheat farm. I'll just chop the tops off of these so that I can grow a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. I could probably do with some fish as well. I don't want to. I don't want to rely entirely on the sheep that I've killed. So let's get some of these salmon and eat those as well. Ah, nice and tasty. Oh, I spotted iron. Iron before coal in the world. Yeah, let's do that. I'm not hearing any mobs, not seeing them. So I think this is very safe for now, at least. Oh, and it's dark. I should probably get the bed out and sleep away the first night of this hardcore armorless world. <laughs> Um, hang on, let's place that somewhere that's a little bit further away from that cave. <laughs> yeah, there we go. The first sleep in the world. Oh, and there's some coal as well. That's very nice. Uh, there's a nice little ravine there. Okay, keep out of that. <laughs> That'll kill me very quickly. I'll just have this coal though first, because that's something I need a lot of. And you can see just here that there's actually glow lichen on the walls of the ravine here. And yeah, that means that I'm playing in a snapshot world. So the version I'm currently in is 21W03A, for anyone wondering. So that should mean that I get lots of the new 1.17 features. Right, let's smelt this iron up. I could probably do with an upgraded pickaxe. <laughs> Acquire hardware complete. There we go, the iron pickaxe. Isn't that a pretty sight? And I should probably use some of the bone meal I have collected on the wheat here so that I can lure some animals for a little animal farm. 
And for that, I'm going to need some fences and a fence gate as well. Right, so I guess I now need to lure the animals over. So I've got a cow just there, which is very good. Hello, cow. Come with me, sir. Yes, follow me, just like that. And into your pen. There we go. The first captive. <laughs> You're mine now. And there's some more cows just here. Excellent. I'm going to have quite the cow farm running straight away, I think. That's, that's good news. That's the cow farm. So I'll breed those up over time. And we should have a nice food source coming in. And I need sheep as well. I think the wolves had killed most of the ones near my little setup already. So that's not the best, is it? <laughs> I found this one sheep here, so that will have to do for now. I need to find others though. Come on, get in your pen before a wolf kills you. There we go, you'll be safe in there. Oh, another life lost, clearly. Rest in peace, black sheep. Rest in peace. You know, I think that's an ocean biome. <laughs> it's got a turtle in it, it's just part of the river. <laughs> Right, okay, I found some more sheep, that's good. It's probably around 100 blocks away from my little wheat farm though. Right, they're almost back. Oh, and that's why it's good to have multiple sheep. I can use one of them as bait. <laughs> uh, yes, distract that one wolf so your brothers can survive. <laughs> that steak isn't gonna be for you though, doggo. It's for gonna be, I'm gonna eat it. Right, can I get this sheep in before the dog kills it? Come on, come on. Get through, get through, quick, through quickly. Oh, I've lost the wheat. I think it's in the fence. And this means that the wolf can't get it, but he's just going to eye them very hungrily. Look, there you go. But you can't kill them because of the fence. <laughs> uh, he's going to be stuck like that for a while. Right, so one of the things I would like to do is find a village and kidnap some villagers real quickly. And I have no idea where one might be. So I'm just going to pillar up a little bit like I did in my other hardcore series and just turn the render distance up by a lot. Right, okay, so I've lost a lot of frames. But I'm not seeing a village at the moment. It's just a lot of, uh, a lot of ordinary biomes. At least I've got access to birch and dark oak and acacia, as well as the normal oak. That's good. And I've got some nice deserts. Perhaps I should look in the desert for a desert temple. That would get me off to a good start in the world, I think. And there's an exposed ravine just there, as well as pumpkins. That's, that's good. I'll have to take those pumpkins. We'll plant those. I'd quite like to get a pumpkin farm up and running very quickly for, uh, for villager trading. Die cow! Thank you very much. So yeah, let's just get those pumpkins. And I think, I think I'm gonna go into that exposed ravine. Gonna see how dangerous it is. Is it just a lot of walls? Are there caves that I could potentially die from? Are there places that creepers could drop on me? The thing you always have to scout out ravines in hardcore before you go in. Make sure that there isn't danger because they are a death trap. They will kill you if you're unprepared. So let's just see if this ravine is safe. I'm not seeing any caves connected to it, so I think I'm gonna go for it. There should be a lot of resources for me to get from here. And down we go. Hello, copper. Interesting, that's one of the new 1.17 blocks. Um, I don't think there's much I can do with it other than use it for building materials and lightning rods. So I think I'll just create like a, a copper block and just place it down in the world and see if we can get it to weather before I die. <laughs> That's the challenge. Can I weather the copper block before I die in the world? <laughs> There's plenty of iron and coal in this ravine though, so this is going to prove to be a very fruitful trip to the ravine, I think. Let's not fall into that hole. <laughs> Let's collect more of this copper. I do like the, the way the copper looks. They've managed to make a very pretty block out of that thing, I think. Oh, and I'm loving this source of iron too, I've got to say that. I'm going to harvest this entire ravine. <laughs> Now, I've just spotted some glow lichen in this ravine as well, and I'd quite like to collect that um, for no reason in particular, other than I think I have a large project that I would like to take on for this snapshot world, and it's going to involve glow lichen. So, let's harvest that. That'll be my first piece. Let's get this smeltery away. Two furnaces at once, one for copper, one for iron. That's all you need really, isn't it? And I should probably make myself a bucket. There we go, I can sort out this little farm, I can get rid of the streams, and I can prevent the fall damage by MLGing, although I will probably fail at that. Right, let's get that pumpkin farm started. There we go, three pumpkins for now. They will grow over time. Right, let's make those copper blocks. Uh, just one for now, I think. Uh, let's just place it somewhere random, I guess. It doesn't really need to be in like a, a very exposed place because I don't know how much of a base I'm gonna have here. 
But for now, let's just place this nice copper block here. And let's see if we can get it to weather before I die. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to create a few more copper blocks. Let's place them around here. Four copper blocks in total. Beautiful. Um, actually, I'm going to remove that log that I placed and put the other copper block there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm, I think I quite like the sound that the copper blocks make. Yeah, let's just tap those a little bit. <laughs> that really nice metallic noise. I, I, I like that. It's good. Good work, Moyan. Right, I think it's time that I go into this desert. Let's see if we can find ourselves a desert temple for us to raid. I'd quite like a saddle, because I've noticed that there's quite a few horses around my base, and they're going to be quite good for travelling. So, let's raid a desert temple, if there is one, and see if we can't get one of those. You saw nothing. Oh, hello! Okay, so if that's a pillager outpost, I think they spawn near villages, so there should be one nearby. If I can find that, then that would be pretty good. I'm not going to go near that thing at the moment, though, because I think they would probably kill me. <laughs> right, hello, zombie. You're going to be the first mob of the world I kill. And, oh, oh, I'm getting lag. Okay, I'm. that is the last time I enter a fight in this world with a 32 chunk render distance. I was just trying to find a village, but it's, it just ended up being a lot more dangerous than I thought it would be. <laughs> ah, there we go. There's the village over there. And I think, is that... I think that's a desert temple in the village itself. That's pretty cool. Right, here we go. Towards the village. I see villagers. I see salvation. There's also an iron golem. There's a... Going near those things in this world is going to be extremely risky. They can one-hit me. <laughs> uh, let's not punch any villagers around here. Ooh, cat. Oh, that's going to be useful. They'll, they'll keep the creepers away from me. Um, let's kill some fish. Get some raw salmon and cod. And see if we can tame that thing. Right, where's that cat gone? There it is. Don't wander away from me. Come back. Come back, please. Oh, Come back. I never know what to do with cats. Whenever I go close, they run away. And if I just... They just never look at me to come towards with the fish. It's just like... They hate me. What, what's what's the actual way of catching these things? <laughs> right, this, this cat has just run away from me. <laughs> into a cave. <laughs> oh, dear. This is going to be the most dangerous cat I've ever tried to tame. Right, come here, kitty. Let's tame you with these fish. Oh, that was the first fish. Oh, that's adorable. That's great. Uh, hello. Um, gunpowder trade, glowstone. You know, I don't even know why I'm looking at you, because I can't actually trade anything with you. I have no emeralds, so uh, have a nice life. Or death, I guess. <laughs> this is, uh, it's good for me to get leads at this stage of the game as well, I think. I could probably use them to lead certain animals. There's a skeleton in there. You know what? I'm going to leave that llama. He's, he's going to be angry with me for a little bit. Ugh. Look at that spit flying around. I'm taking this bell. It's mine now. <laughs> right. I quite like to raid that temple now though, but my inventory is a little full. So let's just create a couple of chests and we'll leave that stuff in here. All of this new loot that I've gathered and let's raid the temple. So I think I've got an idea with this iron golem, given that I'm incredibly fragile right now. Let's just drop this guy in the roof, and he'll take care of all the mobs if there are any in here. <laughs> or at least, I think I think he'll leave creepers behind, but just him being in here is going to give me a little bit more confidence to go inside. Come on. Is there any mobs down there, sir? Can you see anything? No? Okay, I think it's safe for me to go in. <laughs> Right, okay. Quick creeper check. Nothing here. Okay, let's loot this thing. Let's go down and make this staircase. Right, scrape that pressure plate to be safe. I don't, I don't think any mobs will drop on me. Okay, there's a lot of gunpowder, emeralds, spider eyes. Uh, oh, I placed that block there, didn't I? Uh, iron bones! I can tame the wolves. That's good. There's no saddle. Um, more iron bones, string. I can make a bow! That's good. Uh, ooh, a book. Riptide 2. Okay, I don't know if I'll ever manage to get a trident in this world, but maybe I will, maybe I won't. Um, it'll be very dangerous to do <laughs> fighting drowned tridents with no armor. Those guys are lethal. No saddle though, sadly. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to get one for the horses near my base. And you know what? I'm gonna keep you, sir. You are going to serve as my bodyguard. Uh, I didn't break enough blocks, okay. But yes! You are now my bodyguard, sir. You will protect me from the zombies and the skeletons. And we'll take that cat with us now as well. 
Right, I think it's time that we head back home again and we and we drop off the loot and then come back for the villagers. Oh, look at this go! Me and the gang just getting started out in the world and I've already got a good crew. <laughs> and you know what? I'm feeling a lot more confident now that I've gotten an iron golem. You can serve as a distraction for these pillagers and I can go inside and loot the place. So, uh, yeah, I think I might do that. Let's, let's give that a try. Right, come with me, sir. Uh, let's unlead him. Go! Get him! Get him! Yeah, there we go! Ah, oh, very good, Iron Golem. You're such a good friend. <laughs> I'm glad that Wandering Trader appeared so early. <laughs> right, let's drop that lead. Let's head upstairs, see if there's anything worth looting in the chest up here. Okay, it's a little bit of iron and some carrots as well, as well as some arrows. That's good. I'll take the logs as well, I guess. Um, this... Is this golem actually doing his job? Is he... Okay, he is hitting them. That's good. Come with me, sir. Very quickly. I know you're damaged. Um, I think he's okay. He's very cracked. Okay, I, I think I'll... I might repair him real quick. It's just a little bit dangerous with all of those pillagers. But I think he's okay. Uh, let's let him loose so he can take care of the pillagers. Right, okay. He wasn't too damaged. Um, go on. Kill them. Why isn't he killing them? Kill them, dude. Am I going to have to do this myself with no armor? <laughs> I thought I was being smart with the Iron Golem, but he's not doing anything. Do your job, sir. <laughs> I wish he'd do his job and kill the pillagers for me. He's not even killed the pillagers here. He's just standing here. Right, I'm going to kill these guys. He served as bait at least, but I would really prefer it if he just went for the pillagers. Oh, he didn't really... One hit and you're done? Are you serious, Iron Golem? Okay, he's a uh, he's a bit merciful. He doesn't quite like to kill. He's a bit of a he's a bit of a lame iron golem to be honest. But I'll keep you anyway. Come with me, sir. We'll see if you can't sort out that mentality of yours by the end of this playthrough. Right, here we go. We're back home again. Let's dump a lot of these resources, and we'll stick the iron golem to this fence, I guess. There we go. Nice. Let's tame the wolves. I've got the bones for it now. Um, yes, there we go. One tamed wolf. That's my dog. Uh, there should be more of them. There we go. There's another two here. That's good news. That makes three dogs. Oh, and there's a fourth one too. Hello, sir. You are now mine. Welcome to the family. Oh, this world is starting off so well. I've already gotten a crew. Oh, just look at this go. Me and the boys. Me, the golem. Four dogs and a cat. I am unstoppable in this world already. <laughs> uh this is a good defense system, I think. I just wish the Iron Golem would hit his enemies a little bit more seriously. Have I just dropped him somehow? I think I just dropped him. How did you get unattached, sir? That's not like you. Oh, I just dropped him again. Oh, there's another Wandering Trader. Why is there another one? I've just had two Wandering Traders in such a short amount of time. That's that's not usual. Look at a puffer fish. I could probably do with that, um, but I don't have emeralds on me, so... Um, which dog just got injured? That's that's the question. Right, I'm kidnapping you, sir. Thank you. There we go. Let's see if I can take you back home to the base with us. There we go. Me and the boys kidnapping the first villager. I'm not quite sure what the route back home is, so I've taken the ocean route with this boat and this villager with the iron golem stringing on the lead behind me. I don't know if this ocean actually goes back to my base or not. It probably doesn't. But there, <laughs> just look at that guy in column there, though. <laughs> it's, just, it's ridiculous. Um, what is that? What am I looking at? Oh, that's a geode. Okay. Um, I don't particularly want to go in there just yet. But we'll go in there maybe next time. And we'll see the nice new 1.17 blocks. <laughs> right, I think my base is somewhere around here. If I'm lucky. And I've actually managed to maintain my sense of direction in this world. I might not have, but I think it's somewhere nearby. But let's go get another villager. Leave that guy there. And yeah, see how it goes. Oh, I've lost the golem again. No, don't drown, golem. <laughs> uh, I say don't drown. He can't drown. But yeah, I, I would just rather he didn't stay at the bottom of the ocean. He's my golem. He's my pet for eternity. It's just as much of the crew as the dogs and the cat. That's for sure. It's night time. Let's sleep again. I love how my pets just all suddenly teleported here. Oh. Oh, that's adorable. A night with all the animals. I don't want to punch that golem while I take up that bed. Um, yeah, let's let's go get the next villager. Uh, can I paste 
Can I place this boat? Can I capture this villager? No. It's wouldn't let me place the boat. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, sir, you, you appear to have a cow in your kitchen. Are you aware of how many health and safety regulations you've just violated? This really isn't a good look. I'm going to have to destroy your house now. This is punishment. You're not allowed a restaurant if you have cows in your kitchen. Uh, this is the last villager though, so let's just unsit my pets. Right, here we go. That's the second villager delivered on site to where I think my base is. I don't think it's too far away from here. It should be easy enough. And I guess it's time that I kill this iron golem too, because it's, I'm just feeling incredibly dangerous with it around me. I'm going to punch it and it's going to kill me or something. But on the other hand, I don't know if I want to. You know what? This guy gets to live for now. I know he's going to kill me at some stage, but I just don't want to kill him. I, I can't. He deserves better. Right, where is my base? Somewhere over here, I think. Where actually is my base? Swamp? That wasn't near my base. I think I've gotten somewhere else entirely. I, I think I'm lost. <laughs> Whistler has lost everyone. Congratulations. Let's go back. I think the villagers are in entirely the wrong spot too. Oh, here we go. I found my way back again. I was like some 600 blocks away. <laughs> Which means my villagers are just in the wrong place entirely. I don't particularly fancy boating my villages across the desert, so I'm just going to use this nice little trick with the workstations. So this guy is going to always follow me towards the smoker and he's going to retake his job. And I've got another one in a boat over there just, just to capture him a little bit while I got this one over here. But yeah, I think this system is working. He's going to make his way over here, take up the job, and then I'm just going to break his workstation just like this. Psych! You thought you'd get it that time. But no, my workstation. Right, and here we go. I've gotten my villagers, I've gotten my golem, my dogs, my cat, my sheep, my cows, my wheat farm, my sugarcane farm, my pumpkins. I think this place has turned out pretty well so far. One thing I'd like to say before I end though, is that the old hardcore series, that's not going anywhere. It's still gonna be a thing. This new series that I'm going to be completely 100% armless in, it's just going to be a thing that I have on the side and can upload to the channel to make up for the fact that I might miss a new hardcore episode every now and then because I'm going to be taking on some grandier projects soon and that means that our episodes just aren't going to be able to come out as often. So I'd quite like to keep my channel alive. So this series is going to be doing that. I don't know how long it's going to last, but we'll see how it goes. I will say though that it's been a lot of fun starting out in the new world. <laughs> it's good to just start from the basics every now and again. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you'd like to see more, be sure to subscribe. And I'd be glad to see you next time. But on that note, bye. Thanks for watching.